Hello everyone, this is Evan and I welcome you to this video. Today is Wednesday, May 10th, 2017 and today's tutorial is going to be about how to use eBay in order to get ideas of what products to sell and sell good and how to find keywords that eBay users use in their queries in order to find your products. I already know that this is one of the subjects that are prominent in dropshippers forums and Facebook groups and especially new dropshippers want to find reliable answers as far as this problem is concerned. There's already a lot of software and websites dealing with both issues of finding products to sell and the appropriate keywords for the titles. I'm going to create a series of tutorials that will go through different techniques and review different free and paid solutions. If you would like to get my opinion on a piece of software or website, please let me know below and I will try to create a review on it. My focus is trying to find solutions for both new and more experienced dropshippers, so I'm going to review both free and more professional and paid tools. Today, I'm going to start with a totally free tool, which is not even a tool, but it is a great inspiration and also a snitch, in quotation marks, coming directly from eBay. So while I was talking, uh, you were able to see this page that I'm referring to and uh, which you can find in the link down below. This is a page that is connected directly with eBay sales. It is refreshed constantly every 60 seconds. And I would like to show you around a little bit. As you can see, it shows here the items that are sold in the last hour. You can choose between last hour, last day, last week. As you can see, here are the items that were sold on eBay.com in the last hour. So uh, you can click and here you can choose eBay UK or eBay Germany so you can see exactly what are the items that were most sold in the last hour now I'm not my German is not very good so let's go back to the American version you can also uh, see which are the ones that are top watched and the ones that have received the most views so as you can see you can get a pretty good idea of what kind of products are being sold in the last hour on uh, eBay or in the last day wow this guy 3206 times this this item was sold uh, yesterday and in the last week so you get a pretty good idea and you get ideas you don't have to sell the exact same item so you can get a pretty good idea of what items are being sold and get um, some items to drop ship from your sources and look for them also very important is that you can choose categories so if for example you have a niche site for example on baby so you can see here what are the items that are were sold on this category wow that's that's for babies wow i didn't know that well anyway it, it is categorized by ebay babies or cameras and photo as you can see these are totally different and you can even search by keywords and many more items and it is as you can see it is refreshed every 60 seconds to see exactly what is being sold you can get literally thousands of ideas just by looking at this site and um, searching for different keywords now another item that i would like to show you is here if you hover your mouse over here you can see that you can click on what's worth so let's click here and let's see what is this this is actually a search engine from coming from ebay which you can search whatever you want and find approximately the price range for each item for example if you want to sell or if you have uh, find in your source ipad cases okay so if you click ipad case it could be you know as broad as that ipad case and you get from eBay 
according to the prices here we are I, I don't know for some reason it got stuck so here we are and you can see the available items and the sold items here you can see the sold items that were in that search terms that you used you can also uh, for example let's say blanket okay and let's say queen queen size blanket okay so you get a totally different result and you get to see how much the blankets of queen size were sold and what's the average price you can also check for something very specific like let's say Sphero I like this one so here you get to you even get to see what kind of specific brands you can type in and get an approximation of how much they were sold so this is a pretty pretty cool feature and something that you have already seen but you might not notice is that you get here also suggestions of keywords that you can use for example if you try electronic sorry about that okay now you see that eBay tells us that most of its customers are looking when when you type electronic most probably they're gonna be looking for cigarette which means that um, electronic cigarette is the most popular search on eBay now you can find electronic kit or electronic drum set but also you get ideas of what is being sold most on eBay uh, let's say that you want to find a few keywords for men's watch let's say yes let's say you have watches okay let's say men's watch and then you get an idea that you can if you add free shipping this is this is something that a lot of uh, the eBay users are searching for uh, or men's watch lot or automatic and some specific uh, brands for watches what about if you want to sell wooden watch let's see what it will produce well here you go it seems that more men are looking for wooden watches than women but men and women is um, is a very popular search so you get ideas of certain keywords let's say something else let's say you're trying to sell a fireplace well this is well, summer is coming and it's not you know the most popular one but let's see what what most of the eBay users are searching for and as you can see they're searching for fireplace screen how about okay you have a TV okay TV so TV you get a stand console and you get ideas also what they're searching and what are the keywords that you can use in order to describe the thing that you are selling let's try wall mounted fireplace okay ah uh, yeah you, you don't get more suggestions here okay but if you try wall mounted you can see that a lot of people are looking for bottle opener or wall mounted desk or pull up bar wine rack wow that's interesting how about a marble fireplace oops ah that's interesting here you see there is an antique marble fireplace so if you add antique in front of marble fireplace chances are that you're gonna get more views rather than just putting marble fireplace so yes this is a, this is a tool that you get almost everything you get ideas of what you can sell and what sells good you can uh, get ideas of what keywords to use and you can get an idea a pretty good idea of how much you can 
sell these um, these items. There are other tools to find keywords and items to sell, but I thought I'd start with this one, which is totally free and comes directly from eBay. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope it has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to be notified of my new posts. If you have any comments or questions, please ask them below and I will try to answer as quickly and as thoroughly as I can. I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day with lots of profitable sales.